All right, check it out. It doesn't want to stay down, it wants to go to the top. <laughs> this is how I test products at Pal the Tech. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to pal to tech Port Keys was kind enough to send us a copy of this monitor to test out and review. But just like always, this review is completely unbiased. I am not being paid by Port Keys to do this review. Port Keys was not permitted to see this review until now, after you've seen it. For this review, I am testing on their latest firmware, which is 1.01.14. When I first saw this box, I didn't even open it right away. First of all, I've been slammed with all these other videos I've been doing for you, right? But secondly, look at this, right? The world's most boring box cover. I mean, look at this photo. It really doesn't make this monitor look that exciting. Right? So anyhow, the minute I started opening up this box, my attitude changed drastically. First off, the monitor came inside this black metal case. This thing is about as solid as you can get. In fact, I think you could send something to the moon, put it in here, send it off to the moon, get it back, and whatever would be inside would be protected from, you know, the atmosphere. In fact, it's probably waterproof. So let's see if this thing is actually waterproof, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna take the monitor and I'm just gonna put it in the case, okay? Why not? Monitor goes in case, just like that. Case closed. Ah. Okay, what do you think? Well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Gotta push it down to get it in there. Pushing it down. All right, check it out. It doesn't wanna stay down, it wants to go to the top. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what happens here. Ah, uh, <laughs> thing is soaking wet. <laughs> Opening it up. Okay, look at that, not too bad. Okay, so I think this test concludes that you probably don't wanna throw this in a swimming pool. However, the case is pretty solid. Moving on to what's inside the box. I was pleasantly surprised to discover not one, but two included HDMI cables. There's a standard micro to regular HDMI and a standard HDMI to standard HDMI cable. Both cables are great quality and the perfect length for what you would need for this monitor. There is also this lens hood, which is very necessary because while this monitor is certainly bright at 500 nits, if you're out in bright sun light, you are definitely going to need a hood like this. And unlike the Velcro kind of attachment that other monitor hoods have, you simply attach this hood in place with these little slots right here. They kind of go right into the two rubber bumpers located on either side of the monitor. The monitor also comes with this attachment arm right here, and it's solid. What I love about this side attachment right here, there is a cold shoe mount that you can attach an external microphone to, right? Now, when the monitor is attached to the camera and now you have this rig mounted on your camera. It's a nice touch. The monitor feels solidly built, even though it's on the lighter side. There's two detachable rubber bumpers on either side to help protect the monitor in case, you know, you drop it. The screen is 5.5 inches at 180 resolution, which is a bit larger than other monitors in this price range. The monitor also supports a 4K signal. Now across the top, you have four standard customizable function buttons. Something different that I absolutely love is this on off switch. I can't tell you how sick and tired I am of electronic devices where you have to press and hold a button to turn it on and off. I can't stand those. I love an on and off switch, just on, off, on, off. And you don't have a, a you know an LED light that stays on all the time that drains the battery. That is so awesome. Now on the other side, you have your menu controls, plus your plus and minus, which moves you up and down through the menu. However, there is a goofy design here because you have this exit button and that takes you out of the menu altogether. What they should have done was have it be a back button, which would move you back a level in the menu in the monitor. It's not a deal breaker, it's just a minor annoyance in usability. All told, these are solid buttons and they're placed very well for use. 
The monitor is powered in the back by one of three options. You could use a Sony NPF battery, you could use a Canon LPE6 battery, or you could purchase an additional DC adapter and plug it straight into the wall. There's also a USB port on the back providing firmware updates, but also for loading custom LUTs. We'll get to that in a minute. On the side, you have your HDMI in, but also, and this is awesome, you can have an HDMI out. So you could go into the monitor from the camera and then out from the monitor into an external recorder. Both of these HDMI ports support 4K signal. Keep in mind though that this is not a 4K display. It's 1080, but it supports a 4K HDMI signal. Lastly, there's a headphone jack on the side which allows you to monitor your audio. This is actually much smaller than my phone, right? I mean, look at this. <laughs> but I found right away that it was able to give me a very accurate representation of what I was seeing through the viewfinder. And it's lightweight enough that I could easily mount it to my gimbal and it didn't add much weight or bulk at all. It worked great. Also, this monitor has all the standard video and focus assist tools that you would find on more high-end monitors. That would include focus peaking, false color, exposure controls, and an RGB histogram, which is wonderful. And a nice touch is the ability to change the size of these exposure tools right on the screen. But I wanna to talk to you about two features on this monitor that I think are actually pretty incredible considering the price point of this monitor. Watch this. I'm gonna flip the monitor, just, that's all I did. I flipped it, watch this, check it out. You see that? You see the bowl? How cool is that? You can flip the screen around, right? You can go from here to here and the image will flip around with it. This opens up all kinds of options for you for vlogging or using it as a selfie screen. This monitor comes preloaded with LUTs of all different types of cameras, including Fujifilm LUTs. If you don't know what a LUT is, let me know in the comments below and we'll have to do a whole video on that but not now, we, we, we gotta keep this moving here. In addition to the preloaded LUTs, you can also download any LUT you want and install it on this monitor through the USB port. Then once you have it loaded, and, and here's the great part of it, you get an accurate exposure preview of what your color graded footage will look like while you're shooting. I must point out, however, that both of the features I just mentioned, the flip around screen and the ability to preview your LUT in the viewfinder of the monitor, are now a part of the Fujifilm X-T4 camera. So in that regard, I think those features for this monitor would be more beneficial for X-T3 or X-T2 camera owners. Okay, there are a couple of annoyances with this monitor, but I'm gonna give it a lot of latitude because of the price. The first is that there's no touch screen. What you have to do like most monitors is you have to monkey around with the buttons on the top. Because more and more people are using touch screens, having to go back to using buttons buttons when using these external monitors is definitely an annoyance. Not a deal breaker at this price point, but it's an annoyance. The second thing is the software itself. The software looks like you're partying like it's Windows 95, right? I mean, so the software needs to be more polished and overall cleaner design and not so, you know, MS-DOS looking, okay? Now, port keys. If you're watching this video, there is one other thing you need to do in the next firmware update. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so if you're shooting F-Log and I go into the monitor, I turn on my LUT, so now I'm viewing the LUT, okay? In this case, I'm viewing the Fujifilm LUT. Okay, works great, no problem. However, if I switch over to false color, then I go back by closing this out. Have a look at that. Now it's back to showing me without the LUT. It gets rid of the LUT setting that I have. It resets it back to as if I didn't have it. Please fix that in a firmware update. None of these annoyances or problems are deal breakers by any means. This is because whenever I review any product, I always factor in the price. And let me be clear, this Port Keys P6 is a great little monitor. And for under $200, I think this is the best monitor you're going to find out there. If you're an X-T2, X-T3, or even an X-T4 owner, and you're in the market for an external monitor, 
I would definitely recommend this one. I'm gonna give the Portkeys P6 external monitor an A minus. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, be sure to give it the like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in another video real soon. Take care.